weird bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen, and Divide and Conquer version 5, where we are playing as Breland and the Shire, and I choose to shorten it down to just Bree. Uh, first of all, a little bit of um a little bit of a heads up, let's call it that, because I am recording this on a Saturday, the 6th. Because tomorrow I will be going away over the day, unfortunately, so I won't be able to record. Instead, I am going to participate in a game of American football. Um, so I will be gone basically the whole day and won't be able to record. So I will be playing this blind from all the amazing comments that I hope will just trickle in on the third episode. Um, Lord Oblivion, I'm looking at you through my screen. and. Um, yeah, so might not use all of the tips that might trickle in in this episode. But what I am going to do here, first of all, I need to take a look at um, what's going on down south, uh, most of all, first and foremost. Because this area is not um, under anyone's control, but I need to look at like how far north has the Ended White actually been able to climb Currently, we are allies, but who knows for how long that's going to work out. And also, I plan on fighting off Captain Eddie, this independent army. Unfortunately, the Dunedain are there with a pretty sizable army, and I hope that they will be helping me out, because they are causing quite a lot of devastation to my lands. 726 per turn is money that I will not be getting back, and I really want to get rid of it. Speaking of getting rid of stuff, I had a very, very sloppy battle against some Barrow Whites in the last episode where we lost our general Andy, who was actually one of the faction heirs, I believe. So that's why we, re we renamed Mangalan to Andy's Rest, because that is indeed where he will be resting. And our plan is, of course, to um, get Mangalan or Andy's Rest back to its former glory, repair all the Barrows, etc. Now, let's do first things first. We also took Buzradum, of course, in the last episode, which uh, my plan was for it to give us quite a lot of money. And uh, when we get the mines built, that's something that's going to happen. But first, we need to afford to actually get the mines. So I'm thinking like Mason's Hall first, that will get, get it a little bit cheaper. And then just uh, save for it, basically. This could be such a good settlement. I might actually invest in Militia Garrison here eventually. And it can grow at 5,000. So that's quite a while ahead. They're pretty pissed though. That's why we have the culture building. And I think that's all that we want. That we need to wrap up from the last episode. Of course, Angmar keeps pushing west. And it's just a matter of time before they come here. And Ostgelon. So I really need to start getting troops as well. But it's just like... Okay, I need to invest in military, I need to invest in economy, I need to uh, not get broke, and I can't just turtle up and save money because I also need to expand, etc. So many things to do. So little money, so little time. Right. Bit of a rant there. Okay. So maybe, just maybe, the Ened White will be able to uh, chisel this down a little bit for me. Your order. But what happens, just theoretically, if I walk out of Buzradum, that didn't really affect anything, did it? They're still pretty pissed, and I think the garrison might have helped out a little bit with that. But I would also like to get this army yes. moving. And uh, if I won't be able to take Dolvorn, I would at least like to take this keep for Willishar. This might be really stupid. Let's just try get moving, build a tower, and I will keep uh, looking at Dolworn, keeping that under surveillance. Right, it really kind of uh, grinds my gear that Bilbo ain't free. Because I shouldn't, really shouldn't be my thing to get him out into the field. The Hobbits are really good governors. So I'd rather keep him there. We also got a Dunedain camp, so we can get some basic Dunedain units, and that's great for us. Apart from that, Hobbiton and Longbottom cannot be upgraded any further, I don't think. So, not really big use to investing anything there. Might just get, like, um, uh, the Militia Garrison, Herbalists might be good as well, eventually. 
but you know, not a lot to invest there. Three is really where I need to invest most of my resources because that's, yeah, that's gonna be my main hub for sure, for show. Sure. Right, I think I've already, I have um, completely lost my word. I've stalled for long enough. Now I need to throw my armies in against this independent army. Maybe there. This is gonna cost me though. My lord. Take my you lord. out. And take lord. you out. Might bring you in as well. Will, yeah. Assembling Expensive. And I think this just have to be enough. My lord. Then you attack. Save. Uh, command this army in battle. I don't. I mean, the AI will still command them, right? Okay, here we go. The balance of power is in our favor. Hopefully, Dunedain will be able to make most of the heavy lifting because it's such a waste to have basically a full stack combining those three uh, Dunedain armies just to like hold the independent realm for us when I know that Angmar is on the move. Start the deployment first and foremost, and let's. You will have to make up the front line. Both of you in shield wall. Put you in the middle, you to one side, you to the other. You, like this. There we go, like that. Then archers behind them. Pikes in front, archers behind. And then of course our merchant infantry who should be absolute Ballers, as long as they don't face uh, armor penetrating units. There we go. And then we have one general there. And I think all of them just have council guard. And you as well, right? Because these, that's the basic Bree. Um, basic Bree general's bodyguard. Guard mode. And then start walking back, actually. Yep, here they come. I plan on having the Dunedain, like I said, do a lot of the heavy lifting if possible. And then we'll just come up and like assist them. Come in clutch with the assist. Now, warm up. There we go. Dunedain is here as well. That's awesome. Now we kind of walked ourselves into a bit of a hole. Which is not the best. When you are playing with ranged, you want as much of a height advantage as, pos advantage as possible, of course. Have the high ground, as Obi-Wan would have put it. Now... Dunedain are starting to march forward, and I think most of these units are just like bandits and trashly trashy trash. Orc fighters, bandits, 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 bandits. Orc fighters, bandits, bandits, orc fighters, and whatever that is. Right. So now the Dunedain have started to move forward. That means that we should as well. Now, slow it down. Because I really want our, U, our main lines to get into position. And we are starting to shoot. You attack the bandits. I think that shouldn't be a problem. Yes. And the archers will be safe. But just in case, ungroup you, you back just a smidge, there we go, you should be active, don't know what our Dunedain ally is doing, but I think he's doing alright, you can run in there, you start attacking, 
you start attacking. And the merchant militia can just kind of help out. You start shooting at the orc fighters. At oh, that's due to dying scouts. That's awesome. So far, we've lost 2%. All in all, killed 25. That's actually pretty good. Okay, those are broken. Go to the next one. Have the cavalry chase them down. And archers. Keep shooting at the orc fighters, please. Do we have anything over here? Not really. Not something you need to be really scared of. You get in. Get in. And now, that was not what I wanted my archers to do, or my cavalry to do, because now they're gonna lose so many units to friendly fire. Now, um, maybe... Maybe I don't really need you to shoot anymore. You catch them. And yeah, this is going great. Lost 6% all in all to their 60. Good tidings. Enemy general lies dead, so now we should just be able to take a whole bunch of prisoners. Break. Yep, there we go. Now the cavalry is just gonna mop everything up. Continue the battle, just to get more experience for my um, cavalry. While also succumbing to some friendly fire from the Dunedain, it seems. Damn. Their Dunedain scouts actually kill a couple of my horses. There we go. Any, like, big bulk squad things over here. Get them. Um, and let's see if, there, and if there's anything else like big. It doesn't look like that's the case. Come on. Okay, that's just a few. I think this is good enough. We lost a 9%. Oh, we're actually losing allies. Friendly fire. Okay, so let's exit. Okay, this was good. They killed uh, all in total, I think we... Pretty much evened out. I took more prisoners, but they killed more. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Captain Thorondir, for helping out our poor little Bree units. MVPs, 213 on Merchant Infantry. Noise, they lost 34. 152 of the Farmhand Pikemen. Did we heal anything? We really didn't heal much. I need these generals to get healing traits. And for that, I think I need an Herbalist. I think. So we could... Um, we could investigate that a little bit because I think it was Lord Oblivion who said that uh, if we build an herbalist, um, that will not that will do like some inofficially to public or to population growth, but it, it can also give your generals um, healing traits. Yes, my lord. My lord. Right. Build a tower because we no, we can't afford it. But we do need to get Orders. Your will, my lord. expensive units As you back into free upkeep. Orders. You, my lord. My lord. what can actually Order, get into? Orders. Your orders, my lord. Not a lot of troops can go back into the fort. Orders. You can. Yes. Uh, the yes, horse lord. can, my lord. or the cavalry rather yes. can. Your orders, my lord. You can't get in. However, I do know that we have some free upkeep in Bree as well. 215. 246. So you should actually go into Bree as well. So far, still free upkeep. Right, now I just have some troops left. I'll have all of you start moving back. But now at least the... Yes, my lord. The um, Your orders, my devastations should start to With honor. decrease. Yes. There we honor. go. 
smack down a tower. That is great. I don't see any devastation on the map, so that's good. Now, money-wise, negative 60 in uh, profits, but we're still um, making like 400 or something like that. And worth noting is that we still have this big-ass force. And I'm just hoping that Buzradun will start to get a bit happier when we have the culture building fixed. Um, none, no, none of the public order helps regarding... Um, we don't have any fear in public order. I think we get that if we do extermination, for example. 40, 50, 5... 95 with my math we might be going in the right direction just take a quick gander at my Lord. diplomats none of them yes my right Lord. everyone has moved so this is good this is good that's um one army on the move maybe we can even siege that keep down and use that for recruitment and also Buzradun will need to be a defender of course but I think with farmhand pikemen, we could just really uh, choke them up at the rumors from Ered Lewin. Oh, damn. I really hope that they will um, reject the gift. Um, send emissaries to Mordor. Righto. Yes, my lord. Without Something's telling me that it's not as close. Approaching their yeah. Tomorrow's journey exactly. How am I supposed to reach Mordor? Okay. Stopping here. Tomorrow's I won't, planet. will I? Okay, just go around, whatever. End of turn report. Right, starting at 1.2k. And the Enedwai are starting to amass. With honor, this tower will keep vigil now, we will be marching on this keep. Because hopefully that will... Still 80, that's good. Hopefully that will give us some protection. Just having a keep there that they should attack. And then we have the bridges, of course. Now, is there anywhere... My, Michel Delving or Michael Delving, I should be able to grow that eventually. Under towers. Traveler's Rest. I mean... Nope. Farm and Pikemen. Might be a good idea. Might be a good idea, but now I just need to invest in something that actually gives me some money as well. Or I should just fit this one out. Leather Tanner, I can't believe we already don't already have that in brief. But now I won't spend any more... Uh, now I won't spend any more money here. Thinking if it might be worth it getting some farmhand pikemen in uh, the under towers. I don't know if we there will be free upkeep here though. Uh, one unit of free upkeep and one unit of free upkeep. So technically, you should be free upkeep. Great. End the turn. That was a quick one. Didn't move a whole lot of my troops, but it looked like, it just looked like the uh, income increased in, um, in Brie. So maybe the devastation is starting to go back just a smidge. Starting off with more money and look at this. Projected profits 1.6k, son. Path blocked for the diplomat. Your orders, as you wish. Yes. Talk to them next turn. Stopping here. Salesman, I don't need to talk to you. Yes, my lord. Without question. This is most likely Tomorrow not at all the best way to go. But I'm still going to take that route. Don't want to hope for Mordor to take uh, the Western of Skiliath. End of turn report. Some green. Number 14 in production. That's interesting. And Buzradum has gotten the Traveler's Rest. And look how happy they got. Yeehaw. Mason's Hall. And then after that we can start going for more uh, economic buildings. You're causing devastation. That's actually yes, my lord. pretty good. Honor, yes. And you will be laying siege to Kurwilishar. And I hope that they will be uh, selling out. And you are free upkeep. That's awesome. Public order due to happiness. Did I get a leather tanner here? That is the question. 
make some money and also under towers will be one of the places where we're going to have to grow so maybe the traveler's rest is a better option it's gonna take a while to get you up to um 1.2 though let's try it with a traveler's rest here it's cheap and i don't think it hurts us to get better culture there but okay you are on your move you are keeping an eye on Dolvorn. Great stuff. And we don't, can't make, uh, can't do anything else with our money. The devastation is still 726. Hopefully it should start to, um, we can get uh, so many fun units here. We can even, um, we can even start training generals. So great, so great. And insufficient funds. Otherwise, I should be able to start retraining you. I might as well just queue it up. Insufficient funds, insufficient funds. What happens if I do like this? That's good. And no more units available for training. Okay. That's good. That's good. Now, we should move our My diplomats. Lord. You are already moved. You yes. are already moved. Already, I'm done. Interesting. Just moved you a bit closer Whoa. to Corwillishar. Then I will lay siege, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, get them to sally out rather than me having, having to storm a keep with towers and stuff. Don't like fighting towers. Not a big fan of those. Especially keeps. Uh, a keep is better than a castle, technically. But you still might have those uh, vrrrt, those machine gun uh, towers. To lay siege, and then we'll see if they sally out against us. Mason's Hall, they waiting patiently for that thing to be built, so I don't think I want to spend a lot of money in this turn. Retraining in Breeze, complete. And next turn I should have 3.2. Let's see how much I need in order to get... Um, order to get... Mine. Because that's a uh, really high priority for me. Won't recruit any more troops, although I would like to get something here to help me out with economy. Recruitment slots allowed, plus one. What's the cheapest building to get here? 726, that's of course pretty cheap. 1.2. Smoking house, don't really care about that. Traveler's way station, public order due to happiness and culture. So I'd rather want to get the chicken farming. Um, I won't be able to grow Bree, so this is just for 40 income and farmhand pikemen, to be honest. Ballista maker. That would be fun to get eventually. Let's see. This is supposed to be like a breadbasket thing, so technically... Oh, damn, the devastation will actually increase. By a lot. 240? Increase in devastation? Really? Okay, let's just not for now. Let's get the lumber camp instead because that uh, will also give us some money and will also uh, give us more units to recruit. Now we need to kill some better whites and hopefully I'll do a better job than uh, the last time. Cavalry, I'd rather get you retrained in Bree to be honest. Insufficient funds, but I can. Let's queue them up. Now, I need some infantry to fight this. You are effective against armor. You actually have some defense skill as well. So let's just not retrain you just yet. We'll throw all of you in. Yes, my lord. This is gonna cost so much resources again there we go save and fight the battle on the map and let's just hope that i don't do as many stupid mistakes that i did the last time i don't even think i brought the cavalry because i'm just afraid that i will forget about them and lose all of them yeah i didn't bring the cavalry let's see if they are starting to move Yes, they are. Now. Let's see, you are there, you are there. Let's 
You should be good with your spears. And general is here as well. And might very well lose him. But let's just hope that I won't. And now we are starting to shoot. That's good. Actually thinking that it might be in my interest to attack them. At least that way we'll keep them away from the um, from the archers. There we go. I need you to get this way. And now blow it all down. Archers, all of you focus at the general. Right, and here we are. Here we are. Let's run you out towards the sides. Because I don't think farmhand pikemen will be able to stand against... Um, Barrel Whites for a very long time. And you are in Shield Wall. You are... Hiking to the best of your abilities. Oh damn, we might actually lose this because we don't have any cavalry. We already lost so many um, merchant infantry. Where are you? And then my plan is to just shoot them in their backs. Where are you? Where are you? So far we've lost 13% of their 24. Now we can actually start. Fast forwarding a little bit. And then you run please. Really need to start shooting at their backs, and we might very well lose a whole bunch of our troops, but we're just gonna have to suck it up and live with it, basically. Start shooting at that unit. You get over here. So far we lost 20 to their 37, so percentage-wise, we are in the lead. Don't like it that we're losing so many of our uh, merchant infantry, though, but they don't have that much defensive skill. So, uh, of course, since the Barrow Whites are effective against armor, they can just absolutely melt through them. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Focus on them, please. Now. Oh, damn. We are losing so many of them. How about... Where can I put the U so that the general is still safe? Right... Is very there. Victory will be ours. Maybe we'll heal a couple of the uh, infantry. All of the archers. Focus on them now, please. And you are actually doing pretty well. Like Barrow White killers. And the general is now here. So he should be safe. If you don't charge me down. But I think... Hopefully, we'll be able to kill enough of you with archer fire. You're down to six now. And you're charging whom? Down to two. There we go. Now, all of you, stop shooting, please. And now, you are going to work on the Barrow Whites. So, are you there? Yeah, we did lose a whole this bunch of troops, but we didn't lose the general, and that's good. Oh, damn. Lost. Healed a couple, so we actually only lost 24%. That's somewhat usually what we uh, what we lose. We with spearmen. We healed up of everything, so now we just need to retrain the merchant infantry, and that will be even more expensive now, because we don't, uh, because we lost so many of them. But still, killed a couple of bear whites. Now, um, Andy's rest should be safe from them, at least for a couple of turns. <laughs> Enemy camp sacked, that's 300. We now, any one of you, my lord. get back. My lord. Orders. My lord. Yes, my lord. 
need everyone who can get back to free upkeep. Do that. Still making money. Yes, my lord. You should go back to somewhere where you can be retrained. So should all of you. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Go. So, I mean, you can send all of them into Bree. Why not? Let's see if there's anything here. When you are retrained, you can retrain everything. And uh, when they are retrained, I can send them into the into the fort instead. And also when they get their movement points back, obviously. Largo, you got retinue expansion, expansion, public happiness, and acumen. Right, that's you. That's Largo. And enemy army routes. I think I'm already done here now. You need to build some rams. Hope that they sally out. Your orders. You. What is it you will talk to the woodland realm. You have modest wealth. Trade rights. Another proposition for Map us. information. If you make me a single payment of a thousand is what I've usually done. But let's see if 1.2 works now since I got um, Buzradum. It did work. So 200 for each of my uh, regions. Until we meet again. That's awesome. Yes, my lord. Now I need to get you up to As talk to Dale without and also Erebor. And that should make me some money. Out. That's the plan, at least. Your orders. And yeah, I will not be uh, finishing, yes, my lord. Be able to finish my quest of uh, talking to Mordor because Gondor is in the way. Right. Right, what now? What should I do now? Think and the turn. Don't know why it started to lag all of a sudden. That's crazy. Yes, my but this devastation needs to start disappearing for us to uh, start grow, start making some more money. And now, in this turn, the Mason's Hall in Buzradum should be finished. So then I could maybe grain exchange first, work on some trade. But I also really want the mine there as soon as possible. But I need it for at least like 10 turns to make the money back that I spent on it. End of turn report. Look at that, making some profits and stuff. Under towers, you got the Traveler's Rest. And Busradum, you got the Mason's Hall. So now, thinking, 3.6. I should actually have that in the next turn. Hmm, maybe not. But let's queue it up, because that's a priority for me. Now retrain some units. And we are retraining some more and thinking. We leave it like that for now. We have room for three units there. There we go. Free upkeep stuff. So now we should afford it. Your orders, my lord. And making some money here. We Your can reach them. My lord. So now we'll talk to Dale first. Trade rights. You're bankrupt, so I don't think you can afford the 1.2k. But if I give you map information, can you give me a thousand? No. No. There is something else you And now. Good day to you. Your um. And now they won't accept anything because they said no once. Okay, and Dunlendings are at war with Enedwyth and Moria, so hopefully they will kind of just bash each other around. And you should give up in two turns. So if I just hang out here, and you will be sallying out in two turns with fewer units than you currently have. Now, I think this is good. I don't want to spend any more money. Let's see, the devastation seems to have shrunk a little bit. 693, yeah, it's on its way down. That's awesome. And that diplomat has already been moved. Yes, my you should be moved. Oh, damn! Two turns. Yeah, we'll be able to make it. Yay! That's great. We will talk to Celebrin. And... I think we've already... Yeah, we've already talked to Gund about it. Otherwise, this would be a great opportunity for me. And this spy, I still want him close to Dolworn because I want to see what the Enedwyth are doing. Apart from that, we're just waiting to afford to build a mine in Buzradum. Which we should be able to afford now, actually. 
And then when that's built in, I think it was four turns or something like that, then Buzzardum will start to make a lot more money. That seemed to be a really... Reject the gift! Yes! Come on! Thank you, game developers. We have heard news that a dark emissary has visited the Blue Mountains, but been turned away. The dwarves will not say what his purpose was, or from whence he came, but they have said they will not fall into disgrace as their grimborn cousins had before them. Yes, thank you, buddy. So they will be helping out against Angmar. Now the northern front is a little bit safer because Ered Luin and the Dunedain will fight them together. Yeah, yeah, buddy, come on. What kind of freaking luck is that? I'm so happy about that. Right, we did have a total of 3.9, but as you can see, we've started building in Buzradum, and in five turns, we'll start making a little bit more money here. Which is great. And then we also need to start working on like dirt paths, land clearance, all of these um, economic buildings that give us opportunities to train troops. Great. Uh, Dolvorn still not attacked and you will be uh, surrendering in one turn or sallying out. If I were to attack now, down to 880 and you are actually losing troops, but I will keep sieging. And our projected profits dwindled, but that's because we put 3.6 into the gold mine construction. We are still making almost 2,000. Recruitment. We just retrained some units in Bree. That's great. And I can't afford to retrain you. So I'm thinking that I will. Insufficient funds. I can queue you up for retraining as well. So when I afford it, you will start retraining. Which should be in the next turn. Great, 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 great. Now let's finish this quest, shall we? Trade rights. And map information. You have meager wealth. So let's just see if 1.2 works here. Yes, it did. That's awesome. So now I need you to start going down, talk to Harad and, um, and Dol Amros. One unit of Archer Militia. Wow. You're spoiling me with all these good units. Um, um, um. And his rest need to start getting some free upkeep as well. I don't know what this means. Building income plus minus 100. I don't know what that means. I need to Google that stuff. Right, so that's a mission success. War declared between Darwinian and Rune. Really? You waited until the 35th turn? Yes, my lord. What the damn hell? And... We can talk to them now. So, trade rights. They have reasonable wealth. So I should be getting 1.2 here as well. Map information, single payment of 1.2. Yes. What if I offer you an alliance? That's great. So now we're allied with um, them as well. Don't know how that's going to affect my um, my relationship with Enid White, though. But I just hope that they kind of shield down here. And one more turn and then uh, Kord Willishar will sell you out if they don't just give up right off the bat. That's great. That's really, really great. And I don't want to put anything more into recruitment. You are working on getting built. Can't grow Hobbiton. Under towers. Leather tanner, sure. Let's go with that. And it feels like I might as well invest in leather tanners in more places. Why not? Make me a little bit of money. And they cost like 600. Give 40. So like 15 turns, something like that. I should have those that money back. And the turn. Hmm. Oh, you're attacking Andy's rest now? We must make a stand. We are besieged. 
Okay, you sallied out. It looked like the Barrow Whites just lay siege to Andy's rest. I'm really ha uh, hopefully, hopefully they won't actually be attacking it because in that case I'm toast. But you sallied out, so let's just quick save and get in here. Now we won't get any time to any time to um, deploy. So I will be pausing right away. You drop it, you drop it. There we go, and then need a line of infantry. Something like this. You start marching up. And sheriffs, I want you to find them now. Archers. Hmm, it's actually easier to click than selecting with a control M. There we go. All of you. I need you to run up here. Something like that. And you run up as well. Now it looks like most of my units are marching. Don't really want to waste my um, Unidine if I don't have to. Right, and their archers will most likely start pummeling us. Walk up and start shooting. You start shooting. Okay, our archers are all firing. That's great. And I wonder who it's best that you focus on. Do they have anything, like, good? They do have some hunters that will actually uh, be quite scary. Nope. Stop. Want you to start shooting at the woodland hunters. And you to start shooting at them as well. Defenders of the Shire. Right. Start marching up our archers. The the I think this is all of them, yes. Actually, not shooting at the bandits necessarily. But why not? Actually, I think it would be better to move you back again. And you, all of you, start marching up. Archers, turn and start shooting at those bandits, please. Everyone have a rock ready. Okay, that was a great volley, actually. If we now we need to start shooting at the cell swords. And you as well. You start throwing at the cell swords. Really need to start moving you back. Okay. How's it looking? They're actually starting to rout, so here it would be really nice to have whole bunch of um, whole bunch of cavalry need all missile units to give everything on to the cell swords you start charging in please you can run up that way and maybe get some good shots from the side. For now, we're just absolutely pummeling down the cell swords. Look at how quickly they drop. Getting stones and everything hurled at them. That's good. That's really, really good. Now, all missile units attack the cell swords, please. Force remains. Looks like the farmhand pikeman has actually done a pretty good job. 
Very happy about that. I don't know why we still have archers shooting at the um, woodland hunters when I asked for all of my ranged to attack the cell swords. You need to turn around and attack the cell swords. Now all of you stop firing at will and run up something like this. Oh damn. They all just turned. Okay, it's cool that they're attacking the Syrups. That's okay. Now we'll really start shooting at them again. Down to 39, 37, 36. It should break soon as well, in the best of worlds. So I'll have the farmhand pikemen kind of... Um, kind of turn off their place of attack. You can actually try walking in and see if you can attack some bandits or something. Nope. They just closed. Just closed the gate. Now, you shoot at the woodland hunters, please. And I need everyone... Okay, you. And actually follow the lumbermen in. You charge at them. You should be getting some good shots off at the Woodland Hunters, hopefully. How's it going over here? You are killing the Shittifs. But that's okay. You're down to 20. Abandoned his men. That's good. Uh, I want all of the missile units to attack those woodland hunters instead, and you will be taking on the cell swords. They should. Okay, here they're coming out. Attack the bandits. Oh yeah. That should be no problem at all. There we go. You should take them on now. All of the missile units. Run up and stand here. Shittifs. Already done a really good job. But I'm going to need you a little bit more. I think we managed to take out, still have the captain or the general. Okay, and you charge in and take care of the bandits. Now it's just mop-up duty, killed 92%. Oh, we've already killed the general, hot diggity. And how's it going over here? All missile units, attack them. The battle is very much in our favor. They are dropping Victory quickly. We've lost 16%. Our men are in command. Of the our men no longer command the castle. And I think a lot of that comes from the hundred something sheriffs that we lost, which is of course not optimal. Oh, one militia. Merchant militia is in the back. And attack the Woodland Hunter. He's actually gotten some shots off. But there we go. And the battle. We healed up, so we only lost 14%. Lost 266. We didn't heal that many. But, MVP. Everyone got kills except for the Dunedain Wardens. And the Breland Militia. Right, MVP, 78 for the Archer Militia, and that's the best. 77 for Farmhand Pikemen, Rangers got 72. They kind of underwhelm me with their amounts of kills. Still though, Core Willishar is ours, and that's a key. So, um, I don't know how the culture is going to be currently, because we won't be able to lower the taxes because it's a keep. However, if we are able to grow it, hopefully... Um, 
it should at least be easier to defend what's it like right now okay we can actually just occupy the settlement that's awesome our courage and honor have conquered recruitment report we retrained some stuff at Bree. that's awesome that's awesome thinking what do i want to get now we absolutely need to go and defend andy's rest Ooh. Am I really that kind of guy who spends units on cell swords right now? I think I'd rather spend it on something that makes me Monet, to be honest. And his rest. Uzradum, you're building the mine. Under towers, you are building. Leather Tanner, Mitchell Delving. What's worth getting here? Alicia Garrison doesn't really see worthwhile farmhand pipe in might be a good idea or will they be free upkeep here number of free upkeep units one and then we should also have one here right yes get that and now a rather here we can actually build some things middleman culture is already good so it's rather 25 to cultural unrest Rather need something else to make them happier, I suppose. Let's start with a meeting hall. That should give free upkeep units one, etc. And then we can get the Mason's Hall after that. Then, of course, we need the land clearance and all kinds of fun stuff here. Because I'm planning on using the keep for recruitment. So that's good. Now we should be making even more money. Look at that. 4.1 total. And Dolworn is pretty soon going to fall. Pretty, pretty soon. Longbottom, Hobbiton, no real use in building anything here. However, it does look like we could start getting some hikes. I think that might be good. Now, we need to take care of whatever this is. We're not retraining anything because we can't afford it. Really, militia might be a good idea to get. Just so we have something to throw. All of you. Oh, how many do you have? Okay, now you have a whole bunch of... Um, now you actually have a whole bunch of Barrow Whites. Okay, right there. Oh no, that's not what I meant. Let's see if you will still be able to attack here. Join you up there. Attack. And I will not let you be controlled by the AI. Save. Balance of power is in our favor, but that can be one frickle little business. We don't have any farmhand pikemen. We will get some from Councilman Aldaron, though, I, get, I think. And maybe this will be the last, um, the last Barrow White attack. Let's hope so. Let's be a bit naive and hope so. Right. And they are the aggressor. No, we are actually the aggressors. Hot damn. Can we get any kind of height advantage? Doesn't look like it. But... Infantry, all gonna get chewed up quite quickly by the Barrow Whites, I'm afraid. But, just gonna have to take it. Keep your spirits high. There we go. And archers. Put all of you right here. Cavalry will have to do a lot of good work as well. General, stand behind, start the battle. Get moving. I wonder if they'll actually... Yeah, they're marching. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if we can, like... Catch their attention a little bit with the cavalry. Probably not. Oh no. The battle is very much in our favor. Okay. Victory now charge those barrel whites in the back. You attack them, you attack them. Oh, the merchant militia is dying big time. Good at those battle whites. And. Oh, you didn't even charge. You didn't even charge.
Can you attack those better whites in the back, maybe? Lance is down. Yes. Maybe? No? If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Pull back. Okay, we actually did get some of them. Turn around, actually. Stop shooting for now. Now you'll attack those better whites in the back. And you will be running up here, and then we'll just sandwich these guys. Good tidings. That was a good charge. We killed the general, then just pull back again. We just need to do our absolute best before we lose all of our infantry. Okay, what do they have left? They do still have a bunch of you over there. Get into formation. And... Bikes down, attack those better whites. Now, charge them in the back. You attack them, you help out here. And yeah, this should be a really good charge. How many do they have left? I don't even see anyone. They have five left. Go back. We will smash the enemy. Blow the horn. You help out there, maybe? How many units do they have left? They have 87% casualties. And now this is looking pretty good. Great, charge all of them down. Now it's just grinding them down, really. Where are you? Where are you now? Okay, you're swinging amongst my archers. Not a big fan of that, I gotta tell you. That should be those barrel whites gone. Maybe not. That should be it. Now, what do we have left here? Oh, they killed basically all of the Greenway uh, spearmen. The there we go. We, have won here we lost 20% of our troops. Ew, but that's a lot of... Oh, so many of my merchant infantry and militia. Hot diggity. 85% inflicted from by the Greenway riders. That's awesome. 57 by the merchant infantry. So they actually dealt like one to uh, one kill for every two deaths not perfect but they healed up with quite a few that's great and andy's rest is safe ish i don't know how long they're gonna be it's gonna be safe for but now i would like to get a message like oh the barrel whites are gone mangalan is cleared habla 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 ha. enemy camp sacked yeah that's cool Glorious victory. victory! Sorry, got his knees. My lord. Yes, my lord. Oh, that was a good sneeze. My lord. Okay. Your will, my lord. You my lord. get into Your orders, my lord. port. Then both of you are full, so you don't need to be trained. All of you go back into free. Still making profit. Now, retrain some stuff. Retrain you and retrain you. That's good. That's good. Uh, war declared. Rohan and Dolguldur. That works. And Largo. Yeah. I didn't get a message, though. Kind of disappointed about that. But let's end the turn and see what that one has in store for us. So far, it feels like this episode's, episode's actually gone quite well. Let's just hope that nothing bites me in the buttocks right now. Also, I have to come clear with the fact that I don't know how long I've been recording. Might have been 45 minutes. Might have been 
Hour and a half. Now you, my friend. Yes. Without question. Wonder if um, the Harad has actually already reached up here. I shall continue to That's blocked by Burt. Ooh. This is good though. A lot of leather tanners and Brie, a lot of constructions finished. That's actually really, really great. Now I'm thinking what the next one should be that I should build. Great hall for even more um, council guard, even more free upkeep units. But I'm also thinking fairground, building income 200, hot diggity, yes. And that's basically all of my money. All of my money. And this rest, you don't really, you can retrain pikes. Maybe even get some more and like that I'm broke again. And uh, recruitment. Oh, look at that. We actually got quite a few units. Long bottom. Uh, pikes move you into the fort. So then you're free upkeep again. Then Hobbiton. Uh, you're not free upkeep anyway. You grumpy bugger. So we don't need to worry about that. Mitchell Delving, you are free upkeep. That's math right there. And a lot of you upkeep. Can't retrain. Yeah, we can retrain. We can get some more Dunedain, though. Would be really nice. Really nice indeed. This fort is already full, so I'm thinking... Ooh, we, look at the devastation. It's cleared up so much. Actually thinking if I should start moving some units to forts up in the north. Just to free up some more... Um, uh, some more army upkeep. I cannot retrain you. Can I train you to begin with, though? Yeah, so maybe you are. 125 is your max. That could very much be... Okay, but for now, I won't move anything more here. But we do basically almost have a pretty good army here. If we would like to uh, push it somewhere. Ah, shit. Ours you good. Uzradum, still working on the mine. Oh damn! I would fight for your people as if they were That's a own. stack and a half. My lord. Although, your is an honor, noble ally. does sound like they actually like me. Yes, my lord. How far can I move you without everyone's being pissy? Orders, my lord. With honor. Yes, my lord. Yes. Let's put you here first, build a tower, this tower and get back to Core Wheelie Shard, and then the next turn we'll move him down a little bit, build another tower, then back, build a tower. Great, 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 great. Now, it feels like I haven't done that much with yes. you for a while. You have a Map information, you're still bankrupt, so let's do 600. That worked. Good to see. Until we meet again. Yes, yes. My lord. Now we have both the Darwinian and yes, the Runic factions to talk to. Out. So I think we should move down here, then we can just get oh, Lest is having some devastation. Then we can talk to Darwinian and then uh, Harun is just nearby. We're really close to already to having trading arrangements with everyone. Now I think that I will just end the turn and see what happens, and then we'll start the next episode with a fresh turn. Because like I said, I don't know how long I've been recording for. You are retraining. Start moving some of these units to that port up in the north. Like this, and you're... 20 oh dear now oh, that you are expensive aren't you oh you and you oh actually we can put a whole bunch of guys into that fort instead it's because we have great roads right you get into that fort as well and just like that free upkeep was across the land you are making bigger profit and the turn.
this is the first episode that is not 10 turns long. Just realized. I have been using the turns as kind of a benchmark, but you don't know how long a turn is going to be. 10 turns could be 10 days. Not really, but you know, it could be. Theoretically. Okay. Shadow roams the barren hill. Come on. I started to feel so safe. <laughs> okay. Get into the fort. God dang it. That's three. Don't have that much range to use at them anymore. On them anymore. Hmm. The lumbermen will get just swept by the barrel whites. I need archers and good ones. I mean, the crossbows could be good to just square up and shoot in the back. But all of this is... Um, Decisions that I have to take in the next episode instead of this one. End of turn report. We made some profits. Got up with a total of 3.9. So I th think I must have started investing in something. Poor Willie Shar, you got a meeting hall. Very happy for you. Now you're starting with a Mason's Hall. And after that we can start getting dirt paths and land clearance and things. Boothradum should also get uh, dirt paths, land clearance, grain exchange. You have so many good cheap buildings to get. I mean, 1.5 dirt paths. All of these things I really need to build. Eating hall as well, of course. But uh, these are the buildings that will give us econo or that will give us military recruitment as well. So with land clearance, I can start getting both Breland militia and archer militia, like really basic trashy stuff. First, we need the mine. And Dolwar. Ooh, look at that. Dolwar looks a wee bit weakened. Weak end. I'm thinking uh, push on Dolwar with like some units from here. Because I think they are really weak right now. Oh, Yenedwyth. Still on the move. Okay, but all this is something that I'll have to deal with in the next episode. So, um, like I said, I won't be reading. I won't have time to read. Time to read. I won't even have seen any comments on episode three yet before recording this episode. So I'm sorry if you had, if I did some really obvious blunders. I did my absolute best, and I've took taken Core Willishar, and I've defended Andy's rest. Killed a big stack of independent forces. And I think I've done pretty darn well for myself in this episode. So thank you so much for watching. And um, any tips, please write them down in the comments below. Because it really helped me out a lot. And a big thanks for the support this campaign has gotten as well. It's been absolutely mind-blowing that the first episode got, I think, almost 500 views. And I'm very, um, I'm very happy about that, that you're enjoying the content. So... Thank you, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. The Weird Bubble!